What's up guys, back with another Honkai Star Wars video. In this video, I'm going to talk about should you buy the fifth, yes, fifth, Nameless Glory Battle Pass. Yep, there's five of them. That means that if you've been buying the same light cone every single time, you'll be able to max it out. Big W. Unfortunately, I am not doing that. I'm getting one of each. So let me know in the comments if you are getting the same light cone every single time to max it out or you're only getting one of them and calling it good. Well, one of each, I should say, and calling it good. Or, heck, you can only get one of them and then just not buy it ever again, right? Let me know in the comments if that's you. But other than that, let's start with the most important question. Should you buy the expensive one or the not expensive one? So, for an extra 10-ish dollars, I think it adds like an extra dollar or so if you choose to buy the cheaper one and then the more expensive one. But for the more expensive one, you get five fuel... 200 stellar jades two icons of whatever characters are out at the time and 10 levels now 10 levels is cool and all to get stuff early i don't recommend it it's really just not worth it just wait right it is what it is you have plenty of time to get the levels the five fuel is cool but really it's, it's 12 usd nah 200 stellar jades is disgusting low for that price and it's really just the icons like do you value the icons and this month it is Branya and Jeopard. I'm assuming it's because the Topaz event quest is based around Bellabog celebration. That's why you're visiting and then you at Topaz. So that's probably why it's those two and not Jinglu and Topaz himself. And there's a Jinglu one. I'll probably get it because I'm a big fan of the character. I also have the Kafka one because I wanted that one. But other than that... There's really no reason to buy it unless you really, really want the icon. Just wait until your favorite character gets an icon and then pretty much be like, okay, that's the only time you should really get it. Even then, it's really not worth it in the grand scheme of things. It's just, eh, literally all the rewards are just disgustingly not great. So that leads it. Should you buy it for the normal battle pass price? Is it still worth it? Now, I do think it's worth it, right? Because it gives you a bunch of XP materials, such as, you know, books for your characters, the Aether for your light cones, and it does give you a little bit of crystals for your relics. Alongside that, you get credits, right? Because money makes the world go around. You get fuel, which is really nice, right? You get singles on both banners occasionally. I think there's like, what, three four five okay so it's five on the standard banner or five on the premium banner six on the standard along with 680 stellar jades of course you also get uh gifts to the past striders which are materials you can pick which one you get them occasionally at four star and three star rarity and then last but not least well i say that but it might be the worst part about it is the light cone now Yikes, these have fallen off, not gonna lie. Also, mention it, I'm gonna do a multi on the weapon banner at the end of this video because I have enough currency and I thought might as well put in a video. So stick around to see that. Um I could pull a five star, not too sure. Anyway, light cones. So my thing is I'm getting one of each. I have this the one, the abundance one, the nihility one, the harmony one, and the iridation one. I'm probably gonna get the preservation one next and then get that one and then that one and then I think I'll work on this one next. That's just me personally. Alright. Unfortunately all of them have fallen off, right? This one there's no real DPS defense character. I feel like once a defense character like Ito comes out for this game where they're doing damage based off defense this could maybe see some use but honestly they're all really not good this one i have no idea what the hell is trying to do this one like i just said no defensive attacker this one the the whole dispel one buff could be a like gimmick in the future but as of right now there's no use for it this one rng buffs suck this one is just laughably bad this one there's a reason i skipped it is not great but the basic attack healing you can trigger the healing effects in simulated universe and i've actually had this on my bylaw when i first started playing the game because i just had zero abundance light cones and i was like sure i'll just get this one you know what it can lead to some pretty funny stuff not gonna lie the basic attack healing you giving you like attack speed whatnot it's kind of funny you can mess around and do some funny stuff in simulated universe otherwise it's pretty bad, right? You're not going to use this. Then that leads us with the only good light cone, which is this one. Iridation characters actually can find some good use in this one. Yes, there is a better four-star one. I think it's the, I forgot the name, but it has, um, 
the the chick with her eyes closed uh she's from the cult the sanctus whatever i'm forgetting names so hard right now i apologize that one's better for most characters and then jing yun's is better i think it's the best in slot for pretty much like every herdation character at the moment so if you have those i wouldn't worry too much about this one but this one is the only usable one really out of the light cones on this so unfortunately if you're buying it for the light cone i would recommend don't do that unless you're just a collector and you want one of each i'm not gonna you know shame you for that because that's what i'm doing other than that i'm gonna be honest with you unless you just like don't have characters to build there's not much else in the battle pass it's really just a paid way to get stuff to level up your characters faster if you're one of those people who have made their team you don't care about any other character so like half of it would be useless to you i'd be like you know what sure don't buy the battle pass right because the summoning currency the fuel and i guess the relic stuff right probably wouldn't be worth the ten dollars i still think it's an incredibly good deal and until everybody just has all their characters max even then right because if you have all your characters max you're probably just stockpiling materials anyway um and it'll probably be a point where probably every person is still like trying to build characters as time goes on and on and on i mean we'll probably hit a point like with genshin where people have played for so long they have so much stuff stockpiled they won't have to buy this and just be like all right sweet i want the materials from it to level up character but i feel like we are a long point till then all the materials are so really good if you are a spender even a little bit this and the welkin i feel like are almost must buys every single time but other than that let me know in the comments you know do you buy it every single time i've been buying the same like every time like i said do you have you never bought it have you only been buying the more expensive one have you only been buying the cheaper one let me know in the comments and i guess it's uh multi-time so hopefully we get something cool here uh as you know i went 300 deep and only got one copy so i'm hoping i get the light cone other than that um i guess we'll end the video after this multi well uh looks and looking like nothing man of course it's this one i mean actually that might be good hold up really quick before i end the video i think is that the last one i need enhance oh no i only have two of this hang on oh i have three of these oh it is the last one i've been i forgot to feed them in oh w okay i'm not mad about that okay well i probably won't be too happy going forward i mean i guess i could use more of this right this is pretty good for the whole energy regeneration part anyway cool w anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe for more videos and i'll catch you on the next one